Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back for another video and today I am on Snow RSP as well where I'll be doing a little server showcase. Before we get into that, I want to announce a giveaway of four of these donator boxes. The first one will actually go to the first commenter to comment on this video and then the three other boxes will be going to a random winner that will be picked in two days. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on the notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. If you want to know when the winners will be announced, it will be announced in the server's discord, in my community discord, as well as on the pinned comment on this video. The links of the discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure to join those as well. Anyways, I will be opening up 10 of these to showcase what you can expect to get as a loot so let's see uh, what will uh, what I will get if I open up a few mainly getting cash and uh, scrolls of efficiency but as you can see there rare I just got a shadow lord full helm which is pretty sick I am also getting a bunch of these donation points which is really cool um, and then I have one more to open up let's see and we got ourselves a bunch of cash some scrolls of efficiency some donation points but mainly the shadow lord full helm you can also get yourself an uber donator rank from these a legendary donator rank you can get yourself lucky ring of wealth purple minigun magma torvosat you can get yourself um a average pet mystery box and a bunch of other really cool items so yeah definitely worth opening these boxes these are five dollars in the donation store by the way Alright, so starting off with the home area, as you can see, there is this private boss tele. Basically, what this will do is it will send you to a private instance for a certain amount of cash, which is pretty useful. Alright, so then you have the upgrade interface here as well, where you can add in an item. It will say your required items, you need to upgrade it, and it has a 40% success chance. If you fail to upgrade, your item will be deleted, so um, yeah, you definitely have to do it with some things that you have backups from. Also, you can actually go ahead and buy all the beginner armor right here for a certain amount of cash. It doesn't take a lot of cash, so you can easily get yourself way up to decent gear to actually go ahead and fight monsters. Then you also have the veteran armor, as you can see right here. This is for once you get some more cash. If you are a bit more experienced in game, it will cost a little bit more, but you can buy things like Elite Void for about uh, 2 trillion or something. And then you also have Shadow Lord for even more, but these are like really good sets, especially if you don't even have to donate or grind for them that hard because you can just grind out cash and then go ahead and buy them you also have the donator only armor which also costs a certain amount of cash but this will cost a lot more cash as you can see right here for the magma torva it will be six a trillion per piece than things like the collector which is absolutely insane costs 666 trillion um, just to get the collector level one and then also the, like 24k uh, K torva will be 300,000 uh, one build ticket to 300 uh, trill per piece uh, and so on and so on but this of course is really good and op armored Beside that you also have a donator chest right here, a crystal chest and then a boss key chest all lined up next to the bank which is pretty useful. If you get some from PVMing you can go ahead and open them right there. Player owned shops, everyone knows the system basically, you can search for an item or a name then you can click on it uh, on the person who is selling it and check out how much it is. Then you also have the boss point shop right here. Basically, you can get yourself a bunch of really cool things like the Shadow Lord armor, the 24k Torva, which are the um, very OP sets that you can buy in the donated um, armor shop. You also get yourself uh, the chance to buy a collector's amulet for a few boss points, um, rare packages, extreme packages, legendary packages, which can all give you a bunch of loot. You can also get lamps here to level up some other skills uh, and then 100 trill one build tickets for 5,500 boss points. So that's basically some free cash. You also get a well where you can donate to um, to give the server a bunch of benefits. I think it's drop rate and experience boost. I am not as sure about that. You also have a gamble bot which is really cool. Uh, you can buy yourself a um, dice bag right here for 200 trillion and then you can also buy yourself some mithril seeds for uh, 1 billion for 10 seeds uh, and then you can also just talk to the bot to do 55 times 2. Then besides that you can also check out the vote, vote rewards right here. You can get actually you can get yourself some donation points by voting but one donation point will be 100 vote, voting points so that's quite a lot. Besides that, you also have a bunch of other really cool things. I like this frost uh, turn age, it looks really good. 
can also get yourself crystal keys, fire cape and some other really cool stuff. Then of course you have the donation stores right here for donation points where you can actually go ahead buy yourself some colorful uh, Santa hats, Halloween masks, collector amulet, ring of wealth, a uh, bunch of these boxes which includes the donated boxes which are 10 donation points each which is about five dollars and then um, you also have this cryptic rain shed which is probably one of the best rain sheds in game it also looks really cool like it's armadillo with some different colors but it looks really good in my opinion at least some pet mystery boxes in there as well but you also have the extra shop where you can go ahead and buy yourself the Torva Full Hell Magma uh, and also the Shadow Lord set and uh, Primordial Boots together with a dice bag for a few donation points in there. Uh, the things aren't actually that expensive so it's definitely worth checking it out. Then for the Seer he actually sells all the different capes as you can see right there. You can get yourself max capes, you can get yourself dragon bones capes. Once again you can buy all of these with just cash which is quite insane. Because for the most things you would have to donate or grind out things. You can just grind out cash here to get some items which is really cool. You can also buy some starter weapons in here up to the infernal blade which is actually a really good weapon already. Uh, and also a magma blade all that good stuff. You can just go ahead and grind some more cash. Get your weapon here. I actually got a magma blade if I'm correct. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and that's one of the better weapons in the game. So that's really cool. But then of course, you also have the donated weapons which uh, go from a lava site all the way up to a true love clave, which is very OP as you can see. That's 2 million one build tickets. So um, that's about 2 quintillion if I am correct which is absolutely insane besides that of course you have the prayer altars where you can train a prayer change your prayer and uh, magic books you also got a trivia point shop right here where you can buy yourself some gilded turnage and some other stuff and then you also have a prestige point shop where you can buy some other items with prestige points besides that of course you have a bunch of teleports as you can see right here you have the regular monster teleports which basically is a bunch of dragons that drop some starter armor which you can then go ahead and sell in the market for a 25% of the buying price but if you get some uh, mediocre drops that's still worth quite, uh, quite a lot. Then you also have a few mini games in here and then you have the nub bosses ranging from the easy bandos avatar up to Scotizo, which is a brand new uh, boss, but also Abyssal Sire, which has 150 million HP, which is quite a lot. Then you also have the VIP bosses like Hulk, Charmeleon, Squirtle, Mewtwo, Godzilla, and a few others. So that's also really cool, but I'll go more in depth uh, on those in a second. Then you also have some PvP teleports, and for the extra, you can go to the Slayer Tower. Now checking out these um, nub bosses real quick, I just want to go ahead and see the Abyssal Sire because 150 million HP is quite a lot. I want to see how long it would take me to actually go ahead and kill it in this armor set. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. I'm going to put on Soul Split uh, and then check out the drops as well. Oh, it actually has a bunch of drops. I'll go over that in a second. So I just killed it. it took me about one minute. I actually got a rare package from that which gave me a bit of cash. But I'm um, showing the drops real quick. As you can see, you can get a bunch of really cool things. Extreme 2 legendary package, up to 20 uh, 1 build tickets, some boss fragments. 100% drops, you always get a rare package and 3 build cash and ashes. Besides that, you can also get all of these drops, which is quite a lot. I managed to get myself a boss key, which isn't too bad. But um, yeah, you can get yourself a bunch of really cool items in here as well. So definitely worth going for these if you have some decent armor. Anyways, the past few clips I have actually recorded in resizable mode. But actually once you launch the game, you will go in fixed mode which has this custom layout as you can see right here. You have the custom colors, the HP and prayer bar right here in your inventory. You also have a nice little fade in your chat box which looks really good. Um, teleport button right here, all that good stuff. You also have custom symbols with the um, like snow like um, custom symbols right there which is quite nice in my opinion so definitely wanted to showcase that as well but anyways that's where i will be ending off today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to enter the giveaway and join the discord the links are down below in the description but besides that i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace